Humanoid is the new vocal tuning and resynthesis plugin by Baby Audio. It's an over the top pitch corrector designed for extreme hard tuning and radical voice manipulation. Tell me what you really are, and not what you've been waiting for. Tell me my soul lies, just so many times. As mentioned in our quick start tutorial, some of Humanoid's controls have additional calibration parameters accessible by clicking the gear icons next to the controls. While it's not necessary to utilize these additional parameters for great sounding out of the box results, they provide the option to adjust the plugin's behavior to your liking and optimize its performance for your vocal material. This video is a detailed exploration of these additional parameters for intermediate and advanced users who wish to master Humanoid and gain a deeper technical understanding of the plugin. If you're new to Humanoid, I recommend watching the Quick Start tutorial first. It covers basic operations and features. Humanoid's pitch engine is the key to its pitch correction and hard tuning sounds. It also hosts the Robotify control, which can radically transform the vocal timbre. Calibrating these essential controls lets you tailor the hard tuning behavior to get the results you want from your vocal tracks. And here's how it works. Humanoid performs pitch correction by analyzing the incoming signal in chunks. The FFT analysis extracts information about the harmonic content and manipulates it before reconstructing the signal. The quantize function remaps the signal's pitch information to a musical key while in scale mode. You can think of the quantize control as similar to the retune speed parameter on traditional pitch correction plugins. Click on the gear icon to access three additional parameters that let you customize how the pitch remapping behaves. The quantize knob controls the response of the retuning. When set to zero, the transition is linear, so the voice is pitched from one note to the next in a steady fashion. As you turn up Quantize, the response gets a logarithmic character, so the tuner will move quickly towards the target note first and then slow down close to the end of the time defined by attack. The polarity knob inverts this behavior of Quantize into an exponential curve, so now the note is repitched slower at first and more quickly towards the end. Attack controls the time it takes to get from one note to the next, so it determines the speed of the vocal tuning. Lower attack times cause Quantize to react faster and more aggressively, and stair steps are often more noticeable. To make this behavior clear, I'm using a two-note custom scale. At higher settings, it takes longer to reach the target notes, resulting in smoother pitch changes and gliding. Hold determines the minimum duration of a note before moving on to the next note. When set to low values, Quantize reacts very sensitively, even to small pitch changes in the original sound. Depending on the material, increasing the hold time can help ignore very short pitch fluctuations during quantization. This can reduce unwanted pitch glitches or trilling, making the vocal sound more stable and less jittery. Like Quantize, Robotify affects the analyzed harmonics, this time adjusting their relationship to each other. A natural vocal performance contains many harmonic partials, but also inharmonic ones, such as breathing noises and irregularities. Robotify shifts the harmonics to a supernatural, perfect ratio and removes the nuances that make it sound human, creating a synthetic, otherworldly sound. Inside the calibration menu, you'll find four distinct parameters that robotify the vocal in different ways. Denoise removes non-harmonic materials such as noise from the voice, creating a more artificial sound. Up Metallic conforms the partials to an ideal ratio, creating an artificial, inhuman impression in the voice. A breeze, it took me there. Flatten removes any vibrato or pitch variation, resulting in a mechanical, robotic expression. I saw a look on your face. Emphasis boosts the harmonics closer to ideal ratios, further enhancing the robotic sound of the voice. The All four parameters are controlled globally by the Robotify knob on the pitch panel. Up a distant place, a breeze it took me there. I saw a look on your face. 
Format shifting is a classic effect found in many of the most popular hardware and software vocal processors. Formants are resonant frequencies from the vocal tract that determine a voice's timbre. By shifting the formants with a dedicated control, you can change the timbre of the voice down or up without affecting the pitch of the sung note. Bandwidth sets the overall width of the frequency shift applied to the formants, which affects the timbral changes of the vocal. Synthesize uses the extracted harmonic information to morph sung notes into a synth waveform as you turn transform up. It's not quite the same as a synthesizer oscillator as the incoming vocal signal remains the source of the sound, but it behaves quite similarly. Like a wavetable synthesizer, the Synthesize panel offers a selection of ready-to-use waveforms, and you can import your own wavetables as well. Shape lets you create complex timbres out of simple waveforms by bending and warping them. In the calibration menu, you can individually adjust the warping points for the odd and even harmonics to create different tonal variations. The results can be unpredictable, so consider experimenting with different values to create unique waveforms. The remaining calibration parameters provide additional controls for the effects and utilities that help you maximize the potential of your sounds with Humanoid. Here's a brief overview. In the utility panel, the deesser decreases the sibilance of the pitch-corrected signal to reduce harsh S sounds. It has additional controls for attack time and sensitivity. Lower attack settings result in a snappier response to the signal, while higher settings produce a slower, more relaxed response. Sensitivity controls the threshold for the sibilance detection. The higher the setting, the more sensitive the deesser will be to sharp sounds, and the more noticeable it will dampen the signal. Gate mutes the incoming signal below a set threshold to minimize background noise. It's fully adjustable with attack, hold, and release. Attack sets the time for the gate to close once the signal falls under the threshold. Halt defines the minimum duration before the gate can reopen after it closes down. Release sets the time it takes for the gate to reopen. Smoothing averages the spectral material between analysis frames and can reduce harsh or gravelly textures. It includes separate intensity controls for timbre and pitch. Sharpen is a custom EQ designed to increase the presence and clarity of vocals. It combines a mid-range boost with a tilt EQ. Bias controls the tilt EQ in isolation. At negative values, it's a low shelf high cut. At positive values, it's a low cut high shelf. Within the effects section, Widen is an analog style stereo chorus that adds stereo width and modulation to the signal. It features extra controls for frequency cutoff and LFO rate. Frequency cutoff impacts the tonal character and balance of the effect. Warble adds a pitch vibrato to the harmonic partials during resynthesis. You can adjust the LFO modulation rate and switch to FM mode, raising the modulation speed to audio rates from 20 Hz to 20 kHz for a more radical effect. And finally, the output control includes an input gain setting and a global mix control for blending in the dry signal if desired. This concludes our Humanoid deep dive tutorial. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it helps you get the most out of your new plugin. Thanks for watching, have fun making music and see you soon.